Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Jessica Hayes. Welcome back, folks. Well, here's a live look at your Vigo County Federal Credit Union Tower Cam. Now, we are expecting temperatures to drop tonight, so the rain and the ice mix that we saw this morning, we're going to see freezing spots on the road. So if you have plans to be out tonight, just be very careful and keep an eye on those other drivers as well. Currently 35 degrees in Terre Haute, 92 percent humidity. And as we go into your evening, we're going to see those temperatures drop below freezing and stay below freezing for the rest of your week. We'll get to all that in just a minute. Your high today, only 36 degrees, and I would have taken those extra four degrees to bring us up to our average. It was very cool outside today. In the rest of the valley, 37 in Mattoon, 36 over in Effingham, 43 is our warm spot down in Flora, 38 here in Indiana in Vincennes. Now, we're just seeing some very light breezes outside, one mile an hour in Casey, three miles an hour here in Terre Haute, and you'll see those live updates continue on your screen. From those, we're going to see just um, a bit cooler wind chill temperatures outside. It feels like it's 35 in Paris. It feels like it's 33 down in Vincennes. And again, we'll see those drop as we head into our overnight and stay very cool as we head throughout the rest of your week. Now, on your clouds and radar, the satellite's really not picking up a whole lot. We're just seeing some light snowfall to the north and to the northeast of us. But here in the valley, all we're seeing is this mix of cloud cover. Now, let's go hour by hour through your Storm Team 10 futurecast. Keep your eye on the clock on the top right corner of your screen. As we get into your evening tonight, we'll see temperatures drop into the mid-20s, northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And by the time you wake up tomorrow, we'll see all this cloud cover through the valley, and you're probably looking at this area here thinking we've got snow in the forecast tomorrow. We do not. The computer models are picking up a little bit of snowfall, um, but I think at best we're going to see flurries that won't bring any accumulation. But if that does change, Dave Wire will be here, and he'll be tracking all of that for you tomorrow morning. Now, as we head into your day tomorrow, temperatures are going to stay in the 20s. Upper 20s for your highs throughout the valley tomorrow. Winds will remain out of the northwest. And as we head into your Wednesday overnight, it's going to be a lot like tonight. Clearer, but very cool. Lower 20s to start your day Thursday. And as we head throughout the day Thursday, again, not a whole lot going on with the exception of very cold temperatures. Now, if we look out to the west, Iowa and Missouri starting to see the snowfall move in. That's what we're going to track as we head into Thursday night and Friday morning. We'll start to see snow showers late Thursday and into Friday, and that will stick around for the next few days after that. Tonight, though, low of 25 degrees, cloudy and cold for you tonight. Tomorrow, not going to get much warmer. Your high, only 28 degrees. Below freezing temps will stick around. Your overnight low tomorrow, only 20 degrees. Now, let's take a look at your seven-day forecast. 30 degrees for your high on Thursday, but that is going to be the high for the week. 29 degrees on Friday for, Chris, or for Christmas Eve, rather. And that's when we'll see our best chance of snowfall at 60% for your Friday. Saturday, that drops down to a 40% chance for your Christmas Day and a 30% chance for your Sunday.